Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with a watch review. Uh, we'll be looking at the LumTech uh, M63XL. Uh, the M63XL is a, a new model from LumTech, and it is really unique in that the case uh, material, the, use, the material used to construct the case uh, is a cobalt uh, chromium, a cobalt chromium alloy that is uh, uh, extremely, extremely scratch resistant. Um, you can see this case has been given a very high polish finish. And uh, uh, again, uh, the uh, properties of the cobalt chromium alloy are that it uh, it is supposed to be scratch resistant and according to LumTech, it uh, gives the watch uh, an appearance uh, similar to platinum. Um, so you can see it's got, it, like platinum, it's got a very, uh, a very white uh, color. And again, with that high polish, it looks really nice. Now, not all of the, <clears throat> all of the materials that you see on the watch uh, are constructed from the cobalt chromium alloy. The winding crown is stainless steel. Okay. Um, this material is very difficult to to work with from a machining standpoint. So uh, you know a, a piece like the winding crown that uh, has got a lot of uh, crenellations in it would be very difficult to machine uh, in cobalt chromium. So they they've got, it's got a stainless steel winding crown. The case back, of course, uh, stainless steel. Of course, that's that's uh, that's what's going to be touching your wrist and least likely be scratched. So. Uh, so it's not done in the uh, cobalt chromium. Uh, I am a little bit disappointed in that that the uh, the LumTech signed uh, buckle here is done in just stainless steel. I would have liked to have seen that uh, been in the, uh, the cobalt chromium case matching. But otherwise, the the watch comes on uh, uh, this leather uh, leather strap here with red stitching matches the. Uh, uh, the red elements in the dial very nicely. Uh, you can see that the the leather strap is signed LumTech here uh, and is marked as being genuine leather. Uh, very nice strap and also has a, uh, is unique that it has quick change uh, spring bars in it. So you just uh, no tools required. All you have to do is just pop this uh, this little guy right here off and uh, you can do a strap change. Uh, speaking of which, why don't I go ahead and do a strap change right now and we'll take a look at what this watch looks like on the rubber strap that is also included in the package when you buy the M63XL. Okay, here's what the M63XL looks like with the uh, included rubber strap that uh, LumTech makes as a part of this package uh, looks very nice. It's very comfortable. Uh, I, for one, uh, get a lot of use out of the rubber straps that LumTech includes with their watches. Uh, the leather straps, you know, I'll, in many cases, I'll, uh, uh, I'll buy third-party straps that uh, uh, are a little bit more unique and to my, uh, to my liking, but the rubber strap is very handy, particularly in the summer, when you don't want to uh, wear a leather strap because you don't want to uh, uh, get it dirty or sweat on it when it's hot and sticky in the summer. Uh, the rubber strap is great. Uh, you know, you can wear that when you're more active. Uh, you can't really damage it like you can a leather strap. Uh, and it's very attractive. It's very well done. Uh, it does not have the quick change spring burrows uh, like the leather strap does which is a, a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I wish uh, the rubber straps did like the, uh, like the leather straps, uh, but uh, still it was very quick and simple and easy to do a strap change. And one of the reasons uh, why I like LumTech uh, watches and why they're so popular is because it's, it's one of those kinds of watches that uh, just begs to be uh, you know, used with a lot of different straps. Uh, and that's easy to do, and, and with the cobalt chromium case, you can do those strap changes without fear of uh, marring up the case because, again, it's very, very difficult to, to scratch that cobalt chromium case. Uh, 
Um, let me go ahead and put the, uh, the leather strap back on. Okay, we're back with the uh, leather strap with red stitching. And again, very attractive. Uh, I really like that. Uh, certainly with these watches, you'll want to switch out the straps a lot. And uh, uh, almost like uh, Barbie dolls dr dressing them up. Uh, guys who own these watches like to have a bunch of different straps to, to that goes with different outfits and different moods. But uh, uh, this this red leather or the black black strap with red uh, stitching uh, looks very good. I uh, did want to make mention too on that rubber strap that the buckle, uh, like the the buckle that's on the the leather strap, uh, is stainless steel. Uh, and uh, you know I understand Lumtex trying to hit a price point with these watches. Uh, uh, it, it's going to be uh, uh, a, a little bit on the higher end price-wise for their line. This this uh, uh, this watch comes in just under a thousand dollars, and uh, it's very good value, very good value, uh, particularly for such a unique uh, material used in the case uh, and the quality that they bring. Sapphire crystal front and back. That's a sapphire crystal on the observation window that allows you to view that uh, Miota. Uh, 9015 movement uh, that's in this case. Uh, Lumtech probably has as much experience with anybody with that Myota movement, the 9015. They've been using it, using that movement almost since it came out uh, and since uh, 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 Etta has made it so difficult to get their Swiss movements uh, it's been a good option for Lumtech and, and uh, smaller companies like them uh, so that they can get mechanical movements and, and Again, I've I've had this movement in a few other watches from from Lumtech uh, and others, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, it does a nice job, very accurate, uh, very reliable, uh, and uh, Lumtech's got a lot of experience with it. Uh, again, the uh, the M63 XL uh, uh, is the larger of the two M63s that Lumtech offers. In cobalt chromium, there's a 40 millimeter version, the M63, and the M63 XL is the 44 millimeter version that you see here. Uh, and there's, I think there's four different watches in the cobalt chromium line that, uh, uh, with different uh, dial colors, uh, that are offered both in the 40 and 44 millimeter format. Just as a little size comparison, here's one of my other Loom Techs. Uh, this is my. Uh, uh, extremely, extremely rare uh, Watch Talk Forms Edition uh, M61. This is, uh, I don't know if you can, if you're going to be able to see this on the case back here. Uh, but this is uh, number, number one of 50. This is actually the number one. This, this, uh, uh, this particular model, the M61, was limited to 50 examples, and this is number one. Uh, but uh, from a size comparison, uh, you can see that uh, they're very similar in size. You can also see some of the differences in uh, uh, in the cases. When I was first looking at this this watch, I, to my eye, the the dial looked a little on the small side. Uh, from what I was used to, and I think that's because of the difference in the bezel. Notice this bezel is raised and a little thinner. This one's a little wider and uh, slants more or slopes down more, and it gives the kind of optical illusion that the, the dial is a little bit smaller. But you can see some of the differences in the dial uh, there. Both of these watches have uh, 3D CNC uh, uh, cut dials that uh, give give uh, the, the numbers a, a raised look, uh, which is really neat, really attractive. Uh, both of them have a very similar uh, dial layout uh, with, uh, with the hour markers, uh, date aperture uh, there at about 5 o'clock. A little difference in the crown too, you can see the, uh, the stainless steel crown here on the M63XL is quite a bit larger. Uh, it's very, very easy to uh, to manipulate, uh, thanks to that size. Uh, and it is uh, water resistant to 100 meters. Uh, let's just kind of do a side comparison. You can see how they look from the side. 
very similar again cobalt chromium a little bit difficult uh, more difficult to machine so you can see the stainless steel case has a little bit more detail in it uh, in how it's milled and machined there uh, the cobalt chromium case uh, has less so but from what I understand from uh, Loom Tech that there's a lot of hand finishing that has to take place uh, cobalt chromium an extremely extremely difficult material to work with so uh, 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 you know once they get those uh, back they have to go over them by hand quite a bit and that's that's certainly something that's part of the, the price point that's reflected there so uh, so an excellent excellent watch I'm really liking it and uh, a few years ago Loom Tech did make another uh, watch uh, or another line of watches that had uh, a scratch resistant case material that was made of tungsten uh, I had the GMT version of that I can't remember what the what the model number was, but uh, uh, LoomTech did use that for a while. And, and one of the things I really appreciate about LoomTech is for a smaller company, they're really good about uh, trying new things, uh, trying to be innovative, using some different uh, types of case materials, different things that they do with the dial, uh, using different movements, uh, really trying to get uh, uh, a great, great product for their customers. And the scratch-resistant cases... Uh, that they've developed were pretty interesting. The tungsten case was extremely heavy. Um, that was one thing I, I didn't like about it. It was actually uncomfortable to wear. Uh, uh, but this, uh, this cobalt chromium case, much lighter. Much lighter. I'm not sure that there's much of any difference in the weight of the, uh, when I compare the stainless steel watch and the, the cobalt chromium watch. So, uh, so it's much lighter, much more comfortable. The other thing that the tungsten uh, watches suffered from is that the tungsten material lacked a bit in tensile strength. And I did hear of some, some uh, uh, users who owned those tungsten cased watches that uh, actually snapped the uh, case lugs off doing strap changes uh, because the tensile strength just wasn't there. But uh, I don't think you'll have that problem, or at least I haven't so far with the uh, cobalt chromium case. It, it seems to be a, a much better material from that perspective. Okay, so one of the things that LumTech is really known for is their, uh, their luminous coating that they put on, on the dials of their watches. Uh, they use a proprietary uh, formulation which uh, uh, only is unique, unique to Loom Tech, and it's uh, I got to tell you is brighter than anything that's out there. So let's do some Loom shots here. Okay, so here's you here's a couple Loom shots for you, uh, both the M63 and the M61 on the left. Um, let me go ahead and take the M61 out. So we're just you know, it looks to my eye like the M63 is a little brighter. Um, Probably because the numbers are wider. Looks like there's a little bit more surface area. Okay, I just wanted to compare the uh, M63 to my Rolex Submariner that's on the left. Uh, and you can see the, the, uh, the, how much brighter the luminous compound is on the, the M63 XL on the right. Uh, and you know, Part of that is, is a, a function of the, the surface area on which the compound is, is applied, but also, it's a function of uh, the luminous compound itself. The, the Submariner uses a superluminova, and you can see the, the superluminova on my Submariner is already beginning to fade quite a bit, uh, just as I've been talking here, in comparison to the, the Lumtex M63 on the right. Um, uh, and it's really impressive. Again, Lumtech uses a proprietary compound um, not found on other watches. Uh, kind of one of their, their uh, claims to fame is their luminous compound, so it's so really neat. Okay, well that just about wraps it up for this, uh, uh, this video segment of my review of the LumTech M63 XL. Do check out uh, throughmylens.org for the written photo review uh, that I did of this watch. Lots of great photos, a lot more technical detail than what's here in this video supplement. Uh, this is just designed to get uh, some, some thoughts out there uh, in a video format and uh, to get some comparison shots and, and some video footage. But real the, the, the real nitty-gritty review 
uh, will be in the written photo review. So do check the, uh, the link that's in the description box below that will take you directly to the review that's on Through My Lens. Uh, hope you enjoyed this review uh, and this video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.